Are the free Microsoft Office alternatives for Windows 10 any good? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. The short answer is going to be yes, but let me read you the whole question and we'll take it from there. I was thinking about purchasing Microsoft Word, which I had on my last computer. I need it occasionally to make lists, etc. I think it costs around $100 or perhaps even less. I don't need Office, etc. Just Word. I happened to read this article on freebies and it mentioned something called Open Office. So I need your suggestion. Is this something I should download or am I better off purchasing Word? I assume that Open Office works the same as Word. In fact, perhaps you know of other free alternatives. And indeed, there are now many alternatives, many of them free, to Microsoft Office, including Microsoft Office itself. Let me explain. So the number one alternative, the number one free alternative that I recommend these days is in fact Microsoft Office Online. It is completely free. The only thing is A, you'll need to be online. It's an online service. And B, it's not quite as feature rich as the installed applications that come with Microsoft Office. But you know what? For most people, that latter point just really doesn't matter. The kinds of things that we try to do with our Word documents, our Excel spreadsheets, our PowerPoint presentations, rarely do they exceed like 80% of the product's features and functionality. And that's what they've prioritized in the free online versions. Yeah, you may get reminded that there are versions you can purchase and there may be some benefits to purchasing those things, like maybe you like a terabyte of OneDrive. But if you don't need any of that and you want something that is as compatible as possible with Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Online is probably the way to go. But it's not the only solution. The number two solution, I'll say in popularity, just based on what I've encountered over the past couple of years, Google Docs. It's essentially the same idea. It's an online service with word processor, spreadsheet, uh, presentation software, equivalent to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, except it's all under the Google umbrella. With your Google account, and if you've got a Gmail account, you've got a Google account, it's all free. There's no restrictions. And again, they're very, very powerful pieces of software. The only real requirement, of course, is that you be online. And even there, they've got some shortcuts or some things you can install in the Chrome browser that in theory would let you work with things offline. Um, in reality, I recommend if you're going to go down this path, you assume from the start that is primarily an online only option. Now, I will have a few things to say about compatibility when I'm done listing some of the additional alternatives. The top two alternatives for an installed equivalent to Microsoft Office are, respectively, OpenOffice, which you mentioned in your question, and LibreOffice. Now, the difference between the two is, I'll just say, subtle. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you end up picking. LibreOffice seems to be uh, updated a little bit more often. It's a fork or a copy of OpenOffice from a few years ago. I understand it was a political thing. Bottom line, though, is that these are both very powerful, very complete, installable options as equivalents for Microsoft Office. In fact, you'll often find, I think it's LibreOffice more often these days, is pre-installed in most Linux installations. Both are completely free, both are very powerful, and both are really good alternatives to Microsoft Office if you need something installed. Now, there's a but, and this but applies to Google Docs, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, and in fact, many of the other alternatives that might be out there. And I'll have some more of those in a moment. It's compatibility. Now, the good news is that all of these programs can pretty much open each other's documents without problem. By that, I mean, if somebody gives you a Microsoft Office document, you can open it in Google Docs, in LibreOffice, in OpenOffice without a problem. 
Similarly, you can save as Word format or Microsoft format documents from any of those programs. Later versions of Microsoft Office will even open the default versions of LibreOffice and OpenOffice documents. So there's a lot of open compatibility. The problem is that they look and feel different, not only in how you use them, the details of how you use them, but in the way your documents get formatted. So what does that mean? That means that without making a single change, if you in Microsoft Office take a document and print it, then take that same document over to an open office, for example, and print it, the result will be different. It just will be. The only time that's really an issue is if that look and feel matters and you're exchanging documents back and forth with users of Microsoft Office. Then it may very well be that only Microsoft Office or Microsoft Office Online will do. But you need to be very aware that the documents will potentially look different when exchanged between the two. Now, you can make the OpenOffice and the LibreOffice and the Google Docs document look like the Word document or the Excel document or whatever. You can make them look the same, but they won't come looking the same. And if you do make them look the same and send them back, guess what? They're going to look different over on Microsoft Office. That's why this compatibility thing can be a sticky issue for people that are exchanging documents with Microsoft Office users frequently. But if you're just doing this for yourself, if you're just doing things to save documents, if you're working in an environment where you're not exchanging documents with Microsoft Office users, then absolutely any of these alternatives, all completely free, will do well. Now, there are more. I mean, it's a crowded, it's a crowded market as it turns out. Those are probably the most popular, the most common solutions, but there are always others and there always seem to be more coming on board. I want to point you to alternative2.net. It's a website that actually is a crowdsourced collection of alternatives. And if you search it for Microsoft Office, in addition to the programs that I've just mentioned, you'll get a bunch more alternatives of varying degrees of quality. Uh, everything is rated. Like I said, it's crowdsourced, but it'll give you even more options as you're looking for alternatives to Microsoft Office. So, like I said, you don't have to use Microsoft Office unless for some reason you absolutely need to. There are plenty of good alternatives completely free. For the article on which this video was based, including related links, any updates and comments, of course, visit askleo.com 13647. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.